Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Fallout New Vegas Let's Play series. We are still here in Old World Blues where I made my way over to Hicks Village. We want to head over to X8 today. I do have one stop I want to make on the way. We've got one area we have not been to on this side of the map kind of over in here. There's probably some other stuff in there but we will try and explore that at another time. For now, we should probably get our sniper rifle out and to be very careful as we make our way over. Actually, it looks like there's two, two points that we need to go to. I did look up where to find Muggy and he is over by the uh, rep robot deconstruction area. So we will have to uh, make our way over there at some point probably not today i think it's up on the other side of the think tank so we're not going to uh not going to venture that way i don't think today i know the um the high school of horror is going to take us quite a while to get through so yeah what is that up there is that that's not boomtown is it it might be boomtown oh geez what's going on over here I don't, I don't see anybody. I know there's like a bunch of little tiny buildings that you can go into around here, but um, I didn't want to do that today. I really want to get back onto the main quest here and see if we can uh, make any progress there. Though, I do want to um, explore more of this area. Like I said when we first got here, I do want to explore thoroughly here in the Big Empty. Oh, this is the Y-17 medical facility. For some reason, I think there's something here that I want. Um, one of the upgrades, I believe, is here that I need. Somewhere. Somewhere in this building. Although, is this the one where Christine was being held? Oh, it could be, you know. I should probably be very careful going in here then. Yeah, Ulysses seems to think that this is not a good place for us to be. Well, you know, we never uh, we never did listen to anybody. <laughs> we just go and do what we want to do, right? So in we go. I, I think this is um, the, the harnesses right now. It's Raybots. Oh, you want to be a Raybot, huh? What number did I put that? Yeah, there we go. I can robot you. I don't care. I saw you up there, little dude. Where are you? Okay, cool. I don't know that I actually hit him. I don't think it's hitting him at all. Is that just him? Oh, wait. I can get you. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Yeah, this does really dang good damage against the robots. I'm liking it. Although, that dude... Oh, God, where did you come from? Oh, you are a Dr. Orderly. Yeah, Dr. Orderly. I don't like you. Hold on. <laughs> Chill your bobs, Mr. Orderly. Dr. Orderly. Whatever you want to call yourself. There you go. Yeah, you didn't like that crit hit, did ya? Forget you, little buddy. What are you doing up there, bud? I can't get that guy. I need to go up. I'm afraid to go up because there. Oh, I still can't go through here, can I? Son of a gun. I guess I should have just gone over to um, X8 and done the thing over there. It's all good. We'll come back. It's fine. We can come back. Though, I do want to see if I can find... Yeah, I'll take all that. The uh, thing here, right? There should be a... Right there, yeah. The auto dock. So we can get the auto dock up and running. Oh, nice. Some pretty warm money. I'll take that. Do. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath now. Dang. That was not expecting all those guys to just bob in here like that. Oh, well. It's all good. It's all good. We took care of them, right? The Sierra Madre test case. I heard one of the execs mention that whether Sinclair knew it or not, the Sierra Madre would be a test case for the auto dock 
and the innovative toxin research. Maybe they were joking, but even that kind of a joke sends a chill down my spine. If I got poisoned by one of those toxins, no way would I crawl inside one of the Y17 auto docks here if my life depended on it. The medical tech for these trauma suits alone makes me wish they'd erase their research. The suits do more thinking than people than the people inside them. Oh no. The Y17 trauma harness has succeeded beyond our wildest experimentations. The test harnesses were able to take over the motor functions of an injured subject and walk them back to home base. We'll have to see what, what develops once it's re recorded enough neuro-auto-muscular movement to display a rider range of behaviors to think if they could be programmed to replicate aware shooting or fighting reflexes, we'd have something truly amazing for the war effort. Yeah. Some issues still remain to be ironed out before the Y-17 trauma harness is ready for general production. Calibrating the proper amount of injury to trigger the suits rem remains problematic. Still, the little Yangtze tough sub test subjects could hardly protest once inside the harness. If a home base is not designated, the suit enters an unpredictable wander state. And, as we discovered while calibrating injury levels, the suit sensors are unable to recognize when the wearer is dead. Locally, luckily, autonomous corpse retrieval is nearly as useful as autonomous casualty recovery. So, when the people died and they were in the suits, the suits just kept them up walking and moving around and, uh, yeah, doing their thing. So, we're fighting... Dead little Yangtze test subjects. Well, that's not good. Poor little guys. They deserve some dang rest after everything they've been through. Totally, um, I'll take your coffee mug. I don't know why I keep taking all these dang coffee mugs, but I do. I do. And we also get the Auto Dock Upgrade Cosmetic Enhancement. I will take that. And we're definitely going to want to come back to this place at some point after we can do that because there is some useful information in there for us but for now we're good because the the harnesses will not um yeah i'll take that and re repair up the one we got from the seed place the last time the the trauma harnesses don't spawn in until after you go in that back room, so we should be totally fine. Attention, big mountains. This is an urgent message. If you happen to see a gecko, echo, echo, <laughs> gecko, echo, echo. Oh God! All oh, these guys—they crack me up so much. They're just so. I don't know. They're evil in what they're doing. But they've just been here for so dang long. They've kind of gone mad with nothing to do. Oh, is this Boomtown? I think this is Boomtown. So, yeah. Oh, God. I was just sitting there walking around. I was not expecting stinking doggos. There you go. I was just in here looking around like, yeah, we're in Boomtown. Nice. No, not nice. <laughs> we're in stinking caution now. What the heck? See, there's a lot of rads around here. But there's also a lot of good stuff we can get if we just look for it. But the real prize is actually after you blow Boomtown up again, you can get a really nice little... Uh, Rad suit. Yeah, we'll take those. Why not? You know, I'm a sucker for the special drinks, y'all. Alright, let me get the bobs out of here. Trying to remember which button is which for jumping. A lot of rads, though. Let's not get all hasty and uh, start jumping around. Looks like this was like a little, ooh, a little town. That they were just using to practice their bombing on. Definitely highly irradiated. But I think we're going to be okay. We'll probably just have to pop a rad axe or a rad away afterwards, right? 
Yeah, Ulysses didn't like this place, did he? Oh, well. It's fine. We don't care about Ulysses right now. He can uh, go and wander wherever he wants to wander. I will take the ammo, though. Plasma mines. Even better. Impulse mines. That is a great find, actually. Irradiated meat, huh? Yeah, I think I'm good. So, for now, there wasn't much here that we needed. It's more um, afterwards. We'll come back and look around, though. It will be very, very irradiated when we come back the second time. Much more than it is right now. For now, that is where we want to head. Get up there and, ooh, walking in green goo. Sunset sarsaparilla's worn off. It's all good. We'll be totally fine, right? Ooh, no, 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 we won't. Where did it go? I just sneak and lost the dang dog. There you go, bud. Oh, God, I'm being shot by something up above. Holy crud! Oh, we're not doing this again this weekend. I swear. Listen, you police dogs. Go away. Bad dog. Bad, bad dog. Good gravy. Y'all, what are you? Listen, Robo Brain Mark Three. God, now I'm stuck in a pit. Where are you? Oh, I'm really stuck in this dang pit. Oh, right in the goo and the gore and everything. There you go, buddy. Now go away, y'all. <laughs> go away. Dang it. I just wanted to go up to where I needed to be without any issues. Silly people. Ooh, nice. Some Sunset Sarsaparilla replacements. We will take that. You know, Kendall is going to need to go into recovery afterwards when we get down with this poor DLC. She's going to need to go and uh, definitely get some rehab for her addiction. Alright. Is this the front door? That is the X or X8 facility. Feels like that's the front door. So we're going to want to mine this place up before we head in. Let's get out our mines. Which mines though? I've got 12 pulse mines. Let's do those. That seems like a really good idea. We'll put one over here. And we'll put a couple of them right around here. Right? That ought to be good. I don't know if they're going to be, like, around in this area or not. I've still got a couple more left. If I have to, I can pick these back up again. I'm totally cool with that. Or is this the front door? I'm trying to figure out where the front dang door is, people. Oh, listen, you stupid little doggo. Ah, uh, no, 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 son of a gun. Listen, you stupid dang night crawlers, or night stalkers. God dang it. I am so sick of these things. Oh, God, I got everybody and their whole stinking brother. Hold on. Do I have any grenades? Give me a stinking grenade. Thank you. Yeah, oh god, everything's going off. Dang it! Get off me, you stupid dogs. Get off me. Go, 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 go. This is not how this was supposed to go. Dang it. <laughs> Why? Why? It's never right. No, 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 no. All right. All right, back off, you suckers. All right. Did it. Where's that dang lobotomite shooting me from? Oh, I'm coming for you. Yeah, take your Saturnite fist and shove it up your Ajax. Listen, people. I am not going to be Miss Nice Girl right now. I just came over here to get a thing. And you guys came over here and bugged the heck out of me. 
That's right. Now look at you. Kibbles and bits all over the ground. Give me your pistol. You can't be trusted. Stupid dang lobotomites. Anybody else got an issue with me right now? Because I'm going to tell you, I'm a little irked. No? Good. Let's keep it that way. Jeez. Do my sunset sarsaparilla. Alright, let's relay some of our mines before we go in. This should be good. I'm going to pop two of them over here just in case they decide to come this way. Because I would like to go over that way whenever we get done here. That should be that should be good, right? Let's get back over to our 10 millimeter and head inside. Any of those left over when we get done here, I will certainly pick back up and take with me ah oh, good night people just want to do a thing and you get stuck all right so we need to begin at the institutional test that sounds fun can start by going in this door well oh actually back off back off I think there's a lot of robots here. So if there's going to be robots, I will... Come on, do the thing. There we go. We've got plenty of ammo for it. We can definitely... Yeah, give me stim packs. Yes, give me stim packs. In fact, create stim packs. Thank you. Five stim packs. Yep, that sounds really stinking good to me right now probably gonna end up going through a lot of them because yeah things can be tough things can be tough dang it all right here oh is that a book oh well, we can take a pencil back for the book shoot he'll be happy about that so we can biomedical splicing rules Due to recent government mandated cutbacks are to our funding, only three experiments may be performed per day. We do not have infinite kennel space here in X8. Only one cyber dog beyond those needed for the testing process may be created. Okay, so we can create some things: a lobotomite and a robot. Place together and you get a robo brain. Let's Yeah. Goodbye, Robo Brain. Sorry about that, little buddy. Don't need you. You're not who I'm looking for. So once that's done, we can go back in and do another one. Clear the splicing area. And we can splice a, another lobotomite and a robot. Oh, Mr. Handy, how's that going to go? Oh, another one of those. All right, well, let's... Feel like this has happened before. This... Sorry, buddy. <laughs> this is actually pretty dang good, I've got to say. I don't need your fission battery. Although, I could probably give that to um, the toaster, couldn't I? Didn't think about that. Alright, so this should be the one that I want. The lobotomite and a robot again? What? Can I not? What? I, I thought you could like do... <laughs> no! Hold on, why are you not giving me what I want? It says only three a day, dang it. Hmm, maybe I need to disable security? I don't know, because I should be able to create Roxy. Yeah, there's nothing here that I can um, disable. Oh, interesting. See, I need to look into how I create Roxy. I wanted to leave her here to uh, guard the station. I will definitely look into that before before we leave Old World Blues. I would like to have um, 
her up and active. What do we have here? Test subject information. In this test, you will take on the role of one of those evil commies infiltrating an institution of honest American learning. Don't worry, citizen. It's just for pretend. Your objective is to steal documents that a real dirty commie traitor, which you're not, could use to brainwash our children, which you wouldn't do. This test will help us to protect our children's fragile minds from the agents of internal communism against like agents like you. Just kidding. Where well, you know you're a loyal American, aren't you? See the internal memos. Okay, I don't think this really pertains to us. So, yeah. Well, it does be, but not not right now. <laughs> not right now. This is where they did the um. The testing on us and cut out our brain and everything. Oh, Dahlia was down over here doing her little magic thing. Uh, yeah, sure, we can take that. Nah, I was hoping that was a, a mine. <coughs> Alright, heading down. We're gonna have some robots probably over here. Oh, yeah. Dude, I gotta say, this. Tarantula, tarantula, I can't even speak today, is doing amazing for us. I am liking it. I'm liking this upgrade quite a bit. Now, if it just stays working for us, that'll be the, the real test. Looks like they were burying their subjects as fast as they were creating them. Nope, not us. Jeez Louise. Oh, here we go. We get the dog and robot splicing experiment holotape. That's what we want. Let's go take that back and put that in and, and see if we can splice it. I did do three of them. I forgot I had to get a holotape for it. Poor little thing. There we go. Robot and dog. Oh, it's restocking, so I will have to come back. That's fine. I figured that's what was going to happen. I'll come back the next day in 24 hours, and it'll um, we'll be able to make Roxy. She'll, she'll enjoy it here, right? I think so. She's a good doggo. So, we can't go in there yet. That area requires a key. So, we're good for that area. What's over here? That requires a key. The EM, EMP, no, the EM Pulse Wave module on loan. The X13 facility has loaned us their EM Pulse Wave module prototype for the sonic emitter for use in our data retrieval test simulations. The module allows the sonic emitter to disable certain force fields. Do not allow test subjects to leave the X8 facility with this module. Even though it won't work outside Big MT, it's a security nightmare. Thank you for all your attention in this matter. So, we need to find that. So, it seems one of the things that I need to find has been by buried by a cyber dog. Well, that's not good. It's a bit rude. Anyways, let's grab us some more meds. We're probably going to need them. Man, they just got all kinds of brains floating around in here. Sadly, none of them are mine. Alright, this is going to be us. Enter the institutional data retrieval basic test. For this test, you must use any means necessary to retrieve three student files from an average high school. Basic security program protocols have been activated. Retrieve three student profiles. Failure security measures prohibit you from retrieving the files. Great. That means we are going in there. Which, can I go in that one now? No, that one still requires a key. Alright, fair enough. So the first go round. Let's go over to this gun. Because I think there's doggos in here. <laughs> Principal Here Boris, right. Yeah. 
Why are these cyber dogs so dang tough? I wonder, would the, um, ooh, I, I leveled up. Cool. Hmm. Alright. That's what we're going to do for this round. I'm sitting there listening to him. So, that requires a key. I think we didn't get that until the second round, unfortunately. Which, then we can come back and we can unlock all these little areas. Looks like the lobotomite's already dead. Is that turret on? That turret is online, but... I think I can get the turrets on my side. There we go. Second guess. I like it. Let's get the turrets. Let's reconfigure. That's fine. We'll let the turrets do a little bit of work for us. We're just going to chill in here. What's... What's over there? A cyber doggo. There you go. There's the terminal we need in there. Once that's done doing its thing, we can turn that turret back off, right? Are you done? Are we done attacking? I think we're done. I don't think anything else is going to go off. So let me turn the, the turrets off. Let's deactivate the system. There we go. Very nice. We make the world work for us. Holy bobs. That is a lot of stuff. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I don't need it. Oh, Jesus. Skeleton scared the pops out of me for a hot minute. All right. So let's retrieve our student records. Retrieve Richie Marcus. Midterm exams. Richie Marcus. Baseball lover. Terrible in school. F minus minus in one class. Holy heck. How bad do you have to be at um, at uh, at math, I think it was, or science? It's probably science to get an F minus minus. All right, moving on into the library. This is a not going to be easy. There's bottom lights in there. No, 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 you don't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why? I boosted my guns, dang it. Why are we not doing any more damage? Are they that stinking tough here in Old World Blues? I didn't think so. I mean, these guys shouldn't have much of a damage threshold, to be honest with you. They really shouldn't. They're running around in patient gowns, for goodness sakes. Where did that dude go? I, the, the lobotomite free running around here is bothering me. Where did he go? Listen, dude. Oh, jeez, Louise. Why didn't I get a grenade? It's too late now. It's too late now. Come on. There you go. Listen, you stupid, stupid dog. Where did that lobotomite go? He just disappeared. He, like, bobbed into the ether. He's going to come back and try and get me. I can feel it. All right. Anyways, let's... Any money? No. I know this jerk is in here somewhere. I just don't know where he's at. But the thing that we need is right over here. Let's retrieve student records. Sherry O'Bannon, Ballet Tuesday and Thursday, okay, that's it, that's all we needed, okay, that's all we needed, let's grab another pencil for our little buddy back at the sink, and keep on moving, ooh, yes please, thank you, these lockers, these one lockers are really good for stuff, you know what, I'm going to take a toaster, <laughs> because I can. Dang it. My toaster. I gotta feed his addiction. <laughs> so I can't go that way. Oh, there's that little bottom light.
Oh, geez, there was another one in there. No, you do not. That's right. Lose your gun, jerk. <laughs> Why so many stinking bullets? I swear. I'm down to 470 something. He was shooting me with a BB gun. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe it. Yeah, they're just running around in in lobotomite clothing. It's not anything good. It's not like they're like majorly impressive here. Oh jeez. We got a turret in here. Let's see if we can get rid of that turret. Whoop. What am I doing? Let's go here. Let's get rid of the turret. Though, I could have, uh, I think, I, actually, I could have, dang it, I could have, uh, reprogrammed that. There we go. I forgot the terminal was over there to reprogram it. Oh, well. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Leave him there. It's, we need to make our way over that way. What else is around here? Anything good? Is this like a way to sneak around, maybe? No, this is a... Just some free drugs is all that is. That's fine. I'll take your free drugs and your jet and everything. I know people that want some of that junk. Anyways, let's move on. Keep going. Don't see anything else. I thought maybe I saw a holotape there for a hot minute, but I don't think so. Uh, if there's one in here, I do know there is one in here, but I can't get to it until later. So, here, yeah. Oh, God, we got... Why didn't I... Come on, reload. There you go, buddy. Right in the old brain. In the cyber brain. So, we are going to have some little buddies that are going to want to come in here after I go get the thing I think right that should be pretty pretty good right I think should be let's get back over to yeah that gun that should be good all right so in here we can open up this first before we uh, before we touch the computer Anything good in here? A baseball. No, not really anything good. I guess that makes sense, though. Considering how this is a high school there. This must have been, like, the, the coach's room or something. All right, let's get this one. We need to retrieve our, our test for Betsy Bright. And apparently she's got lots of disruptive behaviors. She's smoking. And she has unexcused absences. It's not good, Betsy. Not good. How are you going to ever make it through? Um... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. High school. Oh, okay, yeah. Nope, nope. There you go, bud. There you go. Chill your little niblets. Just chill them really hard. All right, so far so good. Did any of my mines survive? Doesn't look like it. Oop. No, it doesn't. I think they all um, they all died on us. It's all good. It's all good. We can exit the testing facility though, or well the the testing procedure. This is the end thing. Yeah. Request assistance. We had a small issue with one of our Y-17 trauma harnesses. Sally, a member of the X-12 research team, choked on a buffalo gourd seed and died while working late last night. For some reason, his Y-17 trauma harness will not shut down. In fact, it has begun malfunctioning and causing the late Mr. Harris to attack other employees. Do you have any prototypes you could lend us as a means to stop it? Oh, and so this is when they send over the cyber gun dog. And now it's sealed. Wait, what? We've had another unfortunate occurrence while attempting to destroy Mr. Harris's trauma harness. The disaster control team member carrying the gun slipped and fell, dropping the weapon. Unarmed, the team had to flee and seal off the lab. Unfortunately, your K-9 dog prototype was sealed inside X-12. 
So it's an X12. Oh, good gravy. A lot of rounds in here. I'll take those for sure. Somebody just left the poor brain sitting out. Surprised it's not all dehydrated. Good night. So that's the cyber dog gun. Interesting. Anyways, we need to go through here. I think there's lobotomites that are going to come after us. I'm pretty sure there's a dang robot at some point, too. Oh, there's a recon. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's repair our recon armor up. It was getting pretty, uh, it's getting pretty knackered, dang it. That's a little bit better. I could still use a little bit more health, but it's just way too expensive to uh, repair it up back at the um, at the sink. That thing charges you an arm and a dang leg for uh, for repairs. Another combat armor. The combat armor is just a little bit too heavy for me. I think it's not my favorite. So we should have a little r robot coming down around here we saw him standing in there oh he must have killed the lobotomites single shotgun where's this thing robot? there he is i think he was the um the uh what do you call it what's the head of the school the um principal <laughs> god i haven't been in school in a long dang time people somebody still knows i'm here though i saw that um I was in caution for a hot second. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Dude, settle down. Oh, how is my weapon in poor condition? How is my weapon going down so dang fast here? Alright, I'm going to have to get my weather 10. I just repaired it up, too. Where did he go? Where did this dude go? I don't want to leave him alive in here, because he'll still be alive the next time. There you go. I'm going to psycho dog you here in a hot minute, dude. All right, what's in here? Nothing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you had plasma grenades. Ooh, you were going to throw those at me. You evil man. Holy crud. So that leads to the kettle, which is one way that we want to go. Um, I guess we could go ahead and do it. Do we want to do it now? I mean, I guess we can. Because we, we got to go back through this thing several more times to do all the testing, unfortunately. All right, wait a minute. Let's see over here. Oh, God, there's still a little bottom line. There you go. Not anymore. Oh, they must have let the lobotomites in or something. Oh, that's a bit rude. Dang. Where's this other one? Yeah, there's more. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, we're going to be using this machine. It seems to be doing a heck of a lot better than my weather 10. And with my 10 almost being dead. Ooh, somebody's intestines are just laying there with their eyeball. I got flipped around. <laughs> yeah, give me those. I don't want you guys holding on to those. I can't tell which giblets are which giblets. Dang. Oh, somebody drank my Sunset's Asperilla. Shame on them. Alright, see so what's over here? More ammo. Whoop, no, I wanted the ammo. Feels like we're good, right? Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. We get the dog and lobotomite splicing experiment again. I guess in case you missed it the first time. Shipping department, regarding shipping department, I think we're good there. Looks like Elijah may have been here at some point. Maybe. It's possible, you never know. Elijah's a tricky man.
all right I think that's everything so this is where we want to go down and in one of those little pits down there is going to be the gun that we need or the thing that we need the thing we came here for but we're also going to keep doing the testing once we get done with the getting the thing but I won't have to show it off it's just the exact same thing of what we've been doing the first time around yeah let's oh god I can make a lot of stuff here let's do our efficient recycling real quick that way I have enough um, I have enough ammo all right good 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 and then in here I need to go can I go in here yet no okay so I can't do that one yet fair enough that means we need to just exit out so maybe that's the last one or maybe I need to go over to the other place and get the key that might be it you know I, mean, I think I got turned around dang it oh I saw the red and thought it was an enemy this is where I need to go right here are we cool I think we're cool right yeah, I must need to go over to the other facility to get the dang key for this facility. Yeah, see, that one requires the key. All right, back through again. So we are going to enter our institutional data retrieval. And we can take the advanced test. For this test, you must use any means necessary to retrieve three student files. Success is getting them, and we can use any means necessary. That means we are going back in everything is going to be reset except now we've got whoa god those dogs freaked me out now i can't get through anywhere so i can download the sonic emitted data the download emp pulse wave module and it's been unlocked attach this message Attach this message as the data I collected regarding the EMP EM pulse wave modules effect on our force fields emitter. I'm sending the prototype weapon your way, yada yada yada. So now that took down the force fields, but I can also use the sonic emitter now, I believe. I don't think I need to go back to um do the thing right I think I can do it myself let's find out yeah yeah I can do it myself and I can get some energy cells so definitely wherever you can uh, do the thing do the thing dinky the dino <laughs> gotta love him so now we can go back and get into all those buildings that we've not been able to get into. I will um, knock these out. Right? I shouldn't have to fight any lobotomites. I don't really need the throwing axe. I don't know why I picked it up. Not really anything there. I think it was just the proto or the axe. It's fine. We, we're good. In here, do I need to? No, nope. turrets are still disabled. So we just simply go back in here. Oh, this takes care of cyber dog Steve. Well, blast my buttons. And apparently we got some extra robots. Dang, whoa. Oh, they moved the turrets. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Forgot about that. All right. All I gotta do is go and grab the exact same information we grabbed the first time. Don't even need to go out there, I don't believe. Um, this doesn't change. We can actually do that. That'll drop the turret down, I believe. Right? And anybody up there can head straight over to this terminal and grab the, the records again. Yep, she's still being a bad girl doing her thing nothing's gonna refill here whoop oh I like that I, I'm liking this um, this gun I saw that pencil 
All right, should be having a Raybot come through now around here, right? Yeah, I guess it would make sense. These guys are part robot, so I should be using this gun. Fair enough. We can go through there. Do I need to go through here? I don't think I can. Oh, God dang it. I just got bit on the bum. Hold on. Excuse me. Dude. I totally got nipped in the bomb there. That was a bit stinking rude, people. Yeah, I never came through here. This is the, um, I guess this is the school nurse's office. If we didn't have a pair of glasses, we'd be able to get them there now. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. I don't know why I took it, but I did. It's all good. Should probably stinking heal now. <laughs> get gravy. Just some sunsets down our gallet. Don't remember if Doggo spawned in the second time, so we're just going to go ahead and retrieve these final records. This is the one downside to this. Oh, yeah, they they do. I didn't realize. I thought they... Oh, come on. Only came in the first time. Thank you. Um, The one downside to this DLC is this part is really, really repetitive. Because you're just doing the exact same thing over and over again. But, you know, we're going to do it and get it over with, get the best grade, get all the upgrades and stuff that we can possibly get. It's really the second and third time it's uh, just running through it as fast as you can. Most of the enemies are still dead, so that kind of helps. I don't know that they respawn these up here. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like I can just kind of run straight through here. I don't know that I have the... Um, the ability to get into the last one. Do I need to do it all over and over again? I can't remember. Let me go double check the door real quick. Nope, still can't get into the kennel, so we keep on trucking. Let's go back up and get the bobs out and start our test for the third time. Good night. Oh, is that all I needed to do? Was just the twice? No, I need to enter the residential cyber dog test. The parameters for this test are currently incomplete. Beware of dog. So, now I need to go back through it again? Do I need to get the, um... Enter... Okay. They're loaded. Do I... I go in the door, right? Yeah, I gotta go in the door and... I think this is where I end up. In here. Why did I not... Oh god, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. No, I don't... I didn't want to kill Gabe. I didn't want to kill Gabe. Dang it. Yeah, I didn't mean to kill Gabe. That sucks. Oh, I didn't want your thing. Yeah, give me that. I can use it to repair up the other one. Yeah. So now I gotta go through. There we go. Gabe's bark. Let's just get the heck out of here. Um, I have found the thing. Yes, I found it. We need to get out of here. Yes, I, I know. It's fine. Just get out, get out, get out. Yep. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh, you die. Yeah, that's fine, dude. It's fine. They're dead. They're staying dead. Nasty things. Ooh, a stealth boy. What? Is he trying to cloak up? So did I do all the tasks I needed to do? I feel like I did. I don't think I needed to, um, do I need to turn that back in? Don't know. Oh, yep. Enter the thing. And back. That's it. That's it. That's all we needed to do. So we've done everything here. Yay. Get me out of here. 
Except I need to... Whoa! I need to come back and fix Roxy if I remember to do that. Okay, hold on. We got... Whoa, dang. Oh, God. You are a big um, boy. Good Lord. And we leveled up again. Wow. Okay. So, this time, I'm going to get guns up to 90. Let's get the energy weapons up to 80. They're doing good for us right now. And I think the last three are going to go into lockpick. I want to start getting up to, um, yeah. Lockpickers, yeah, let's keep a lockpick. And we get a perk this round. Ferocious Reader, Spray and Pray. I'm going to take another rank of Action Girl. I think that'll be good. That's what we want this round. So, yeah, all done in here. Cool. Yeah, whatever. Laser Commander perk. Good for me. Anyways, let's get out of here. And, yep. Yep. Oh, God. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Good Lord. There's everything over here. Why are you here? Well, I mean, I know why you're here. But why didn't you run into my things, dang it? This one did. Give me that. Come on, dude. You are stinking killing me. There we go. Shove some Nuka Colas down our throat here, real quick. Good gravy. You guys, so persnickety, I swear. Anyways, oh, you just totally ran over all my frag mines. Well, no wonder this didn't do any good. They didn't go off or anything. I did that. I'm going to be very proud and claim it, too. Dang it. So, I guess one more thing we can do today before we finish up. Though, I wouldn't mind going over there. and hit, Let's go ahead. We're just right here. Let's go ahead and get the tunnel. Dang it. Get it out of the way. I don't know if there's anything in this one. I'm... I think this is... No, this is the one Elijah escaped from, isn't it? The East Tunnel. I don't think we can actually go in this one. Yeah, no. Elijah crashed the the train into it to get out of the big MT. So, it looks like we still have some more things over in this area. Uh, I think Elijah's watch is over here. Which is probably where he was watching out over the um, the Forbidden Zone. Oh, jeez Louise. There's the Cazadors. Yeah. You know what? I'm still having nightmares about my last Cazador attack. Really, really, really not in the mood to deal with them today. So, what I want to do before we end the day is go up. Where's the, um, where was it? The test thingy. Not the construction site. The whatchamacallit thing. The blow up the place thing. The artillery launch field. That's where I want to go. Let's go launch some artillery. Dang. Can we do it again? That's fun. Anything else we can launch? Because... I enjoyed that. Oh, something didn't enjoy me enjoying that, though. What the heck? Is that behind me? Oh, there you are. Oh, it's a trauma harness. I don't think this will work on it, though. I'm pretty sure it won't. Yeah, no, that's not going to do jack all to it. Whoa. Whoa, where did you come from? Jeez Louise, people. Uh, go into our inventory. Get out. Get out things. Good night. I swear. You would all think I have never played New Vegas before. Oh my god. I guess I should have been care more careful about... There you go, buddy. Good night. Dang, trauma harnesses show up every stinking where. I swear, you can't just go anywhere at all and have a little bit of fun. 
<laughs> Dang stupid trauma harnesses ruining my afternoon. It was a lovely afternoon, D. We were killing things and having fun and making trouble for ourselves. Yeah, I thought maybe I could blow up the other thing. Is I thought there was a thing that you can um watch him a bob, you know. Send a rocket over there. I don't know. Yeah, see, he's still dead. He had the good sense to not come back to life. But, alright, let me go back over to um, the other place. Where was it? That's the medical... There we go, Boomtown. So, did that do anything and change anything in Boomtown? Or did I hit the wrong dang thing? I don't know. It doesn't feel like I hit the right thing. There's got to be something else there. Because I want to blow this whole place up to smithereens with like a nuke. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just see? Oh, I thought I saw a thingy. Um, a holotape. Yeah, no, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Yeah, bob off, you sucker. Don't see me sneaking around right now, do you? No, because you guys are being little brats is what you're being. Actually, let's just go right over to this one. Nope, not that one. Let's go over to that one. Yeah. This is doing better damage. I gotta say. I think I'm being nibbled on by a dang doggo. Yeah, I'm being nibbled on by a doggo from behind. I can't move. There we go. What in the heck? There you go. Yeah, come here, you doggo. There. Stupid brats. Anyways, I think with that, that's probably going to be it for us for the day. In the next episode, we are going to do a little bit more exploration. I'm going to pop over this way and get zooped back up to the, uh, to the thing, the think tank. Let that darn, yeah, up there put us up here so we can be nice and uh, safe while we uh, go over our plans for the next episode which is probably going to be to go around and explore all the areas we haven't been to yet i want to get all of those done before we go and oh, i guess i could actually go over to was it x uh 13 whatever one we haven't been to to get the sneaky suit that would probably be a good idea but uh as I said, that will be in the next episode. Thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Valk Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.